R-V-B-N, the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, professional wrestling video blogs, sports video blogs, MBTA video blogs, top 10 list of everything and anything video blogs, and tons more. Collection of my work going back to June of 2014 on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media websites. RVB in Berwick, Massachusetts. Time's now 7.43 in the morning, Berwick, Massachusetts, for Wednesday, January 11, 2016. 7.43 in the morning. And it's warm out. About 45 degrees, it's clearing up today, right now, and the sh temperature's going to shoot up to the 50s. Tomorrow's going to be the same thing. Whatever snow's melting, it's continuing to melt, but it's going to be mud out there, and that's not good. A couple of days of cooler weather, meaning like 30s, which is average, and then another warm spell, but don't get used to it will probably be in the fair share of being in a snowy pattern before long. It's just a matter of time. Some news to report on the RVBN news. Why do 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 the Boston Bruins beat the St. Louis Boot Lose by a score of five three last night at the Scots Trade Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Bruins in second place in the Atlantic Division. That's very good. And I think this road trip has saved Claude Julian's job for the time being. Do I think the Bruins are going to be having the number two seed in the Atlantic Division when it's all said and done? I don't think so. This team is not playoff material. And the Toronto Raptors beat the Boston Celtics by the score of 114-108 last night at the Air Canada Center. And it's Today is National Human Trafficking Day Awareness Day. And 26 years ago today, Nature Boy Rick Flair beat Sting to win his seventh world championship. And he became the first official WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Woo! And one more thing before my video blog. Read this book, George Lucas, A Life. It's a great, great book. It's written by Brian J. Jones, who also wrote the na national bestseller about the life of Jim Henson. And this is probably going to be a bestseller as well. Buy it on, on Amazon or your local bookstore or borrow it from your local library. I'm borrowing it from my local library. It's a great book halfway through. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 be back in a flash with my first video blog of the day. Get out. You're so sweet because they're cute. The more the merrier. Go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing good. Time to move on, Rich. Release the holes. Sodium. I don't care about game shows. Are you writing a book? Want to put a rage on that, Richie? Great quotes only on RVBN. The time is now 7.46 in the morning. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is about former NHL goaltender Pat Riggin. Pat Riggin played in the NHL and for parts of nine seasons and he was a decent goaltender. He had played parts of two seasons for the Boston Bruins and he wore number one. Pat was born and he grew up in Ontario, Canada, a hockey hotbed, and at a young age he learned how to play goaltending. And he came from a, a hockey background. His father, Dennis, had a cup of coffee with the Detroit Red Wings, and his brother, Larry was a junior hockey player for the London Knights. And Pat played for the London Knights when he was a junior. He was a great goaltender for them. And in fact, he was voted the all-time goaltender in London Knights history. That's pretty amazing. Then Pat went to play for 
the WHA because he was 19 years old back in 1978 and back then the NHL did not draft teenagers so he played for the Birmingham Bells of the WHA, played one year for them, but the league folded and the team um, Birm Birm Birmingham Balance also folded as well. So he was put in the NHL draft and the Atlanta Flames drafted Pat in 1979 with the second round, 83, 83rd overall pick. And he played for parts of nine seasons for the Flames, some in Atlanta and some with the Calgary Flames, then the Boston, then the Washington Capitals, Boston Bruins, and Pittsburgh Penguins. First couple of years, Pat bounced around from the minors to the NHL. He was up for the NHL for good in 1981. He split um, number one goaltending duties for Calgary, then he went to Washington and he became the number one goaltender there. And he had most of his success with the Washington Capitals. Midway through the 1985-1986 season, Pat was traded to the Boston Bruins for former Vesna Trophy winner Pete Peters. And he tried to be the number one goaltender for the Bruins during that time period, but it didn't work out. And it was another hot goaltender who was a rookie, Bill Radford. So, Pat went to the Pittsburgh Penguins and he spent parts of two seasons with them. He ended his career in the minors. And he had three seasons of 20 or more wins, two seasons of goals against average at under three. He won the Jennings Trophy in 1983-1984. He shared it with his um, teammate from the Washington Capitol, Al Jensen. The Jennings Trophy is the lowest goals against average in the National Hockey League. He made the second All-Star team for the NHL that season and like finished runner-up in the Vesna Trophy winning when he lost it to Tom Barrasso. But Pat did not play on any all-star teams or he didn't play in the Canada Cup or the, or the like Olympics. His career stats were 153 and 120, 52 ties, a 3.49 goals against average, 8.79 save percentage, and 11 shutouts in the playoffs, 8 and 13, 3.23 goals against average, and 8 95 goal, I mean, save percentage. Pat Wiggins' career in the NHL had probably potential to be a top goaltender, but he didn't. He was kind of mediocre at best after, like, his Washington Capitals year. And I think the Bruins, you know, gave up on him as number one goaltender when they saw Bill Radford play hot in 1986, 1987. And that's about it on him. I will be back later, Facebook, YouTube, t Twitter, and Google Plus with two more video blogs for you. The predictions of the NHL Divisional Round Series games beginning Saturday and Sunday of this week. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the MSG Health Show card from July 23rd, 1984 which they had the fabulous Muller against Wendy Richter for the WWE Women's Championship. That match was broadcast on MTV. Like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bennett guy. Molly Wolf's my love. WCC rocks and nice nice likes. Elizabeth Hatzel, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York. Such a rocking cougar. got the best legs in New York City. Bar none. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has sweet southern accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. Len Claire of WHDH Channel 7 Boston. Has the best legs in Boston by none. She's a meteorologist. She's so, so cute. She's going to get a video block in a couple more days. And Johnny Anna Thompson of WHDA Channel 7. Week, weeknight anchor rocks. And she has the second best legs in Boston behind Ren. And in the word of Sean Lujan. Get out! Bye now.